it's Rachel and Minji, and today she and I are going to go over down. So I hear that Jasmine tried to do down without treats, and um, they struggled with it a little bit. So that tells me that um, Minji needs to learn the command a bit better, so using treats to give her that positive reinforcement and a bit more incentive before we move on to doing it without treats. So I'm going to um, just kind of see how she's doing. I'm going to start her off in, her, in a sit and use a treat to bait her down. Now the way that you use the treat, um, when you're first teaching a dog, which Minji might not need this much help with it, is you take the treat, bake it in so their head goes to their chest, and then down and out. And that will just kind of naturally uh, take her in the right uh, direction and way um, that will get her down. Now Minji has been swimming, and so she is uh, trying to dry herself off here. <laughs> Uh, having a wonderful time. Now I have these puzzle mats out so it's a little bit more comfortable for her to lay down. So Minji. Yeah, get up, silly. Come here. Okay, sit. Good, sit. So I'll have the treat and we'll be doing the, uh, the baiting in, down, and out. So Minji, down. Good down. Good girl. Good down, Minji. Good down. Okay, that was really good. She um, I, she is familiar with down. I can see that. So that was really easy. Um, and of course, she's a lab, so she's very food motivated. Um, now, as you can see, once I got her down, I left my hand with the treat there to make sure she was really solid in a down. A lot of dogs and labs, especially, um, will do whatever they need to do to get the treat. And so they'll hop down and they'll be super tense, they'll grab the treat and then they'll spring right back up. And so I want to make sure that she's getting all the way down and settles in a good down there. Now what you really have to watch with uh, super treat motivated dogs like this is if you bring her down and then you stand up to do a down stay, um, she will probably stand up too to follow the treat. So a lot of times you'll have to bait her down and out and then pull the treat out quite a bit out of her way before you lift it up so it's not so tempting. Minji, are you dry enough? Huh? Are you dry enough, Silly? Okay, come here. Come here. Sit. Good sit. Minji, down. Down. Good girl, down. Good girl, down. Good job, Minji. She was really happy to have these here as her uh, her own little towel. Minji, sit. Minji, sit. Come sit, good, sit. Down. Good girl, down. Good, down. Good job, Minji. Good girl. Okay, that was really good again. Now, instead of... Um, baiting her down as much and doing that in down and out motion I'm just going to be bringing my hand straight down now I'm going to try to hold the treat just between my thumb and forefinger like this so that I can have my hand flat because this is the motion that we usually use for down so we do sit like this down like this so I want her to get used to that used to seeing my hand flat see she did a little bit of a crawl there and I think that's because instead of having uh, <laughs> having the treat in a closed fish she could see it and uh, get her tongue on it a little bit better when it was just sticking out between my uh, thumb and my hand there. Um, so that's something you want to watch with her. Come here Minji. Minji, come here. Okay. Treat just like this. Down. Down. Good girl, down. Good girl. Good girl, down. Sit. You can just kind of slightly move your foot in to tap her toes to get her right back into the sit. Down. Good girl, down. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. 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 Good girl, down. Good, down. 
What's really great about Minji is um, she still stays down even after you get the treat. So that really sets you up well for downstays. Can you stay? Good stay, good girl. Good stay, Minji. Good stay. Okay. So now um, I'm going to still use treats and I want to try down from a stand. Um, that's because a lot of times dogs will know the down command, but only if it comes after sit. So they think that sit is part of the command, um, and that's definitely the easiest way to teach it to them. But um, if you just ask them to down while they're standing, they don't know what to do um, without the sit coming first. So I want to practice that. So uh, you can put Minji in the down right away if you need to. So let's try that. Minji, come here. Down. Good down. Good girl. Good girl down. Now I try to do it really quickly because if I get her attention and she sees me holding the treat, her first instinct is going to be to sit. She needs to burn off some more energy. She is all kinds of crazy today, aren't you, Minji? Aren't you? Good girl. Damn, good girl. Good girl, damn. Okay, now there she was getting a little bit nibbly on my hands there, so I gave her what we call a no noise, which is a sharp ah or ah ah, and um, that caught her attention and distracted her, and she uh, she was much more gentle with my hands, so that's good. Down. Good girl, damn. Good damn. Good girl. Okay, she's doing super well, so now I'm going to um, try to do it without treats. I still have the smell of the treats on my hands, and she's still super jazzed from getting treats. Um, but let's see how she does without getting them every single time she lays down. Down. Good girl, down. Good girl. Good girl, down. Now remember, just because you're not using treats, um, that doesn't mean... She still doesn't get just as much praise. You gotta give her lots of love uh, to make up for the lack of food. Come here, Minji. Come here. Down. Good girl, damn. Good damn. Sit. Minji, sit. Sit. Bye bye. <laughs> Good sit. Down. Good girl, damn! Good girl! She's doing very well. Let's see if I can get her to down uh, without treats from a stand. Minji, come here. Down. Good damn! Good girl, Minji! Good girl! Okay, so um, it's very natural for the dogs to first go into a sit, but I really like that she didn't linger in that sit. She sat down and went straight into a down. That's really good to see because a lot of times if dogs think you have food, they're, uh, you're giving them a command, they usually assume it's sit because sit is the command we generally use the most and it's also um, one of the very first things that we teach a dog. You know, if you ever have, um, you know, are cooking in the kitchen and Minji thinks she's going to get some scraps, usually to get your attention, she'll be staring right at you and she'll sit. Um, as soon as I pull a treat out, Minji, she automatically sits. She sees my hand in this treat pouch. Um, so make sure that she knows the down and follows all the way through with the down instead of just pausing in this sit so that she really knows the difference between those two commands. Minji, come here. Down. Good girl, down. Good girl. Good job, Minji. Good job. Okay, she kind of lingered up. She had her elbows up for a little bit and uh, wasn't all the way down. So I just stayed there with my hand down to show her. So it's just more reinforcement. Um, and she went right down. Now it's really helpful to pair every command that you give her with um, a hand signal as well. It really helps them. So Minji. Good girl, Minji. Good girl, Minji. All right, so she does 
know these hand signals, she's getting the hang of those. So that's really good to see. Uh -uh. All right, she did a really great job. I hope this helps. So she had a bit of a warm up um, with the treat. She was able to do it really great without the treat. So that's good to see. This is Rachel and Minji, and we're working on down.